Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Manga Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing and reading Naruto Volumes 43 and 44. Now, I don't know how many, like, breaks I'm going to take during this one at least. I'm going to, you know, point out some stuff, but based on what I've heard, and I mean, look at the, the cover here. I think I know what's b about to go down in this volume, and as you can see, that is a thick boy, like... This is a normal size volume. Like, let me compare the girth of these volumes. Like, look at that. That is insane. This is definitely a thick volume. Uh, so there's going to be a lot to cover in this. Um, and then, yeah, we got this volume here. So I'll show you guys in the back here. We got Madara Uchiha with Sasuke. And then the boys on the back. No, not the boys. Um, Jiraiya and... Um, well, actually, what's funny is... If you look, I think what they were going for is Sarutobi. He taught Jiraiya. Jiraiya taught Minato. Minato taught, taught Kakashi. And Kakashi taught Naruto. So, yeah. Pretty cool here. Um, definitely can't wait to start reading this and yeah so that's what i'm about to get started doing uh starting like with uh volume 43 um yeah let's get right into this okay so i'm on chapter 394 yeah and uh man that was crazy so what just happened was sasuke and itachi were fighting uh Sasuke has used one of the coolest jutsus I've seen yet, and that's the Kirin, or I think Kirin, or again, sort of like with the the other character. Uh, it, it's, it sounds similar. I think it's just Kirin though, and then the other chick, her name's Kara, Karen or something. But that's besides the point. He used that jutsu. Uh, he lured Itachi outside. And then he he said, like, be gone with the thunderclap. And then just a huge bolt of lightning that looks like a dragon just struck down and struck him. It was pretty cool. Um, I remember that move from uh, Ninja Storm 4, one of the, the specials. Um, but Itachi, uh, he survived that attack because he guarded himself with the Susanoo. Um, his Susanoo, I believe, is like the red one. Um, and he used the Totsuka blade, uh, which was cool. Um, so yeah, but Orochimaru got, uh, so Sasuke, uh, was weak and he released Orochimaru's chakra. And so Orochimaru came back to life for a minute there, but then Itachi just like ended him real quick with the Totsuka blade, like, just like. Like, I mean, the Susanoo was massive, and he just, like, pierced right through the torso, like, the entire torso of Orochimaru, which was pretty cool. Like, Omar Orochimaru was talking crap, and then Itachi just, like, went, like, ran him through, pretty much. It was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, Itachi just ran out of chakra or something, or blood loss or something, so he, he fell on the floor. Sasuke is still standing, so, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Okay, guys, so the battle is over. Uh, it seems Sasuke came out victorious. He killed Itachi. Um, and Toby, uh, he went ahead and grabbed, um, grabbed Sasuke because he had collapsed. And he is treating to his wounds. Um, and Sasuke accidentally used the Mangekyo Sharingan on... Um, on... Um, on Toby, and he accidentally released the Amaterasu, which uh, Itachi actually gave to him, apparently. Um, and, yeah, so Naruto is kind of mad because he they went to where the fight was, and, again, they were too late. So, yeah, but Obi, Obito, or Toby at this point, um, he, it seems like he's about to give Sasuke a history lesson. So... I can't wait to, you know, continue reading and learn more about what's going on. But, yeah, I'm pretty far into the volume here. I've got this much left. I'm more than halfway through. So, yeah, I'll catch, 
catch, uh, get back with you guys when, um, when anything cool happens. Okay, guys, so I just made it to, I believe it's chapter, yeah, chapter 400, and Toby just got done, well, he's not done yet, but he, for a while, he was talking about how the reason why Itachi, um, went ahead, well, he's about to get into, like, the Itachi stuff, but he had went back in time, and, well, figuratively went back in time, um, and was, like, he told of the creation of the Leaf Village and the struggle of power between the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan, and, um, how when the Senju clan, um, when Hashirama became the Hokage, he made the, um, that made Madara mad, pretty much, and so Madara left, and then Madara tried to fight Senju, Senju defeated him, and thus kept his spot as, uh, Hokage, but, and then, uh, the second Hokage, who's Hashirama's brother, I think his name is Tobirama, I think, I can't remember if that's right or not, but, um, he, he made it to where, in order to, like, keep the Uchiha, who were currently in the village, on his side, pretty much, he made them the, the police force, um, the Uchiha police force, and then later on, uh, when the Ninetales, uh, reappeared, the, the clan, uh, not the clan, but the village leaders thought, uh, that in Uchiha did that, um, because the Sharagon has the power to control the tailed beasts, um, so, they suspected that it was in Uchiha that was trying to bring about the destruction of the village, so they placed black ops, um, in the, in spies on the Uchiha, and, um, one of the main spies that were, you know, uh, in on it was Itachi Uchiha, so he's about to get into, like, the, all the details and the stuff, but pretty much, uh, Itachi killed um, everybody in the Uchiha clan because they were going to uh, d basically raise a coup and um, they were going to, the Uchiha were mad, uh, so they were going to take back the power pretty much and um, claim the village as their own. So that's why the um, the Konoha village leaders were like, we got to stop this. So Itachi was down for it and uh, they made him uh, go in and kill everybody because, of course, he was part of the Anbu Black Ops. So, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Um, and Itachi was one of my favorite characters. Like, just, like, he, he, he was a bad guy, but he was just stone cold um, prior but now he, they're fleshing out his character a lot, which I really like, and um, giving some personality to him. And, like, his backstory is really cool. So, big fan of Itachi. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue reading and see what happens. Okay, guys, so I just finished volume 43. That volume was crazy. We get the full, or at least, like, most of the Itachi backstory, um, why he did what he did. And, um, yeah, Itachi is definitely one of my favorite characters. I mean, everybody loves Itachi, I, like, I know that, but he's just such a good character, like, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, I love Itachi, he's such a great character. But now, Sasuke, um, I was a little confused on this before, because he called his team the Hebi, or Hebe, or something, or Hebi, or, I don't know, but he called it that, and I was like, wait, what, isn't there a group named Taka? At the end of the volume, he said that the group is no longer called Hebi, it will be called Taka, so, okay. Um, but, at the end of the volume here, uh, let me, I want to show you guys, uh, he said that their new goal is to destroy the Leaf Village, so, yeah, but, as you can see, he's got the Mangekyo Sharingan. I guess that's the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, I've never seen that anything like that before. Uh, it's not like the other Sharingan, so... I guess it's... Like I said, I, I don't know. 
I guess it's the Eternal, but yeah, this is a hype volume, and um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm excited to see what happens with Sasuke, because he's a cool character, definitely one of my favorite characters, just because um, I really like his story, and like the whole, his whole, um, his whole revenge quest, pretty much, I thought that was like super cool. Um, don't get me wrong, Sasuke is a total D-bag, and, um, yeah, but he's so cool, so, uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna get into volume 44 now, this is a smaller volume, so hopefully I'll be able to read this much faster, because I, I sat here for, like, I, I don't know how long it's been, but I'd say probably a solid hour reading this, so, um, just admiring the artwork in this volume, because there's a few things, uh, I'll see if I can find it but there was one um panel in particular that i thought was really cool and that was um the madara versus yeah madara versus hashirama i'm gonna show you guys this i thought that was really cool so yeah but anyways i'm gonna get into volume 44 i guess but yeah volume 43 was insane okay guys so i made it to chapter 408 um i'm about i'd say halfway through this volume and uh yeah naruto just found out about what happened with jiraiya which that sucks but um yeah so he's kind of down in the dumps right now because you know jiraiya is dead but the the message that the secret message the code that Jiraiya had sent um made its way to Konoha and they managed to decipher it basically what it said is none of the six of them are the real one so he's referring to the six paths of pain and none of them are uh, the real pain um you know Nagato is controlling them from somewhere else pretty much so that's what the the message said and right now they are trying to um they're gonna present it to like the other village people uh but yeah so also what happened in this volume prior is that uh pain uh, is finally they're gonna attack the the leaf village so i guess this is like the start uh, like the real start of the pain arc i guess the pain attack arc i'm not exactly sure though but they said that they're coming after the village so um yeah also um they sent the well since now the taka is working with um akatsuki uh, so they're like sort of akatsuki members at this point um well i mean they're they're allied with the akatsuki um and they're going after the jinchuriki uh the eight tails uh which if i remember correctly is killer b uh so they're going after the eight tails and then pain is going after the nine tails which naruto so yeah let's see what happens okay guys so i just made it to chapter 409 and pretty much um they presented the information that they had gathered to um, the elder sage frog. I keep doing this. I don't know. I need to stop. Um, they they um, ugh, they presented that information, and he didn't um, tell them much because um, he just do doesn't really know. There's still a lot of uh, doubt and like question in the air. But what he did say is that he was going to train Naruto to uh use sage jutsu so if you guys know what's going next i personally i know what's about uh what's gonna happen with that and it's really cool i can't wait for it um sage mode so i can't wait for that but um we also just got introduced to killer b so um yeah this is gonna be probably a really cool volume here towards the end I don't think we're going to see Sage Mode yet. Uh, we might see Sage Mode later on, but yeah. Uh, Naruto's going to be training to try and master Sage Mode. 
Okay, guys, so I just finished volume 44 of Naruto, and honestly, that ending was pretty cool. So, Naruto began his sage training, and um, if he, he has to use, like, this certain frog, or not frog, toad oil uh, to help him better sense, like, nature energy, because the way the sage mode works is uh, you have to, because um, to do jujutsu, uh, not jujutsu, that's jujutsu, guys. To do uh, jutsus, um, you have to balance your mental and physical chakra. But in order to do sage mode, you also have to take in outer, like, nature chakra, pretty much. And um, you have to have the right balance so that you can, like, uh, master the sage mode. Um, so he's working on that right now. But also on the flip side, Sasuke is fighting... Um, killer b and killer b might be one of my new favorite characters he seems hilarious he's he just keeps rapping and um yeah it seems pretty funny but it looks like at the end here he might unleash the eight tails on them because he does this whole whole thing right here um so yeah uh we'll just have to see what happens there but uh i really like this um volume here uh there's a lot of cool stuff that happened there was one panel in particular uh that i really liked that had um uh the taka uh they were interrogating this one dude here it is but then they left and they were all wearing the um the akatsuki robes i thought that was really cool but yeah that's gonna do it about it that's gonna be about it for today's video uh i read a lot that volume 43 was a long volume and uh yeah i can't wait to read more probably tomorrow or sometime but yeah anyways thanks for watching these volumes are really good you guys should go read them or even watch the naruto show naruto shippuden um because it's great but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one, uh, I definitely, like I said, I really liked these volumes. Um, these past two volumes have been really good. I mean, all of the volumes since, like, like the last, I don't know. Since they fought he Dawn, um, really, like, the volumes have been really good. And now we're getting into the pain arc, and, yeah, it... It seems like it's getting, like, really good, so I really enjoyed them, so, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, and uh, we'll be reviewing more Naruto soon. Don't worry, guys, but, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.